The early chapters of Mosiah often employ very creative word plays on King Benjamin's name. In Hebrew, Ben means son, and words for child and daughter come from this same root. The Hebrew word Yamin means right hand, thus the name Ben Yamin literally means son of the right hand. This definition may help to explain King Benjamin's focus on children, as well as his discussion of spiritual rebirth and being enthroned on God's right hand. For example, later in his speech, one sees the full meaning of the wordplay on his name, including both sons and daughters at the right hand. And now because of the covenant which ye have made, ye shall be called the children of Christ, his sons and his daughters. For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you. He then stated, Therefore ye are born of him, and have become his sons and his daughters. Whosoever doeth this shall be found at the right hand of God. Not only do we see a creative use of wordplay, possibly by Mormon, but these allusions show that the royal covenant involved not merely becoming a son or daughter, but also enthronement at the right hand, becoming a son of the right hand, or a Benjamin. King Benjamin's speech is a reminder to all who read the Book of Mormon that they too can experience rebirth into Christ's family, take upon themselves the name of Christ, and sit down with him at God's right hand. And now you know why.